one. Uh oh. Uh, it says nail polish. So my wife came home the other day with this new black and white speckled nail polish. I thought it was super cool and was excited for her to use it because she was excited about it too. She and our daughter, who is nine years old, did their nails today and used the cool new speckled polish. I saw my wife's toes and complimented them. Then I got really excited when I realized, oh, if you did like a sky blue underneath, it would look like a robin's egg. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to do that. Like you could do it on my big toe. It'd look so cool. My wife made a stinky face, then shook her head no. I asked why not, and she said it would be weird. My wife comes from a very conservative background, and this topic of men being overly feminine makes her uncomfortable. Despite that, I think doing one of my big toes in a cool polish would be harmless. I asked her if I'm allowed to think it looks nice, and she said yes, but she didn't want me putting it on my toe. I asked our daughter, uh, who, who chose Spider-Man Valentine's this year... <laughs> Uh, should be discouraged from liking boy things. And she said, no, that's fine. Then I replied with, am I not allowed to like this then? It's not uh, going to do up my whole body, not every other nail. I just think this one design would look cool. My wife got up and left the room. I typed this. Then she texted me telling me I was being ridiculous and I, she hopes I get over myself soon. Am I the asshole for arguing my position about doing one of my toes with nail polish? <laughs> I wonder what the wife thinks of the new Harry Styles cover. You know, that came to mind as I was reading this out too. Uh, I would just buy that magazine and just put it there and just leave it in the kitchen, see what she does. Here's the thing, like, there's really nothing new about that. Did you see, uh, I guess, Logan Paul? There was some viral clip of him going around because he took yeah. the position that he doesn't think it makes Harry Styles less of a man or less masculine to wear a dress, right? Surprisingly, the internet agrees with Logan Paul. <laughs> well, he, I guess the bar is so low with that guy. Anytime he has like a correct take. <laughs> everyone's impressed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anytime he's a decent person, everyone's like celebrating Logan Paul just because their their expectation is that he's just a terrible person, right? But uh, yeah, like I guess what, what, what do you think about men wearing dresses? Why would that bother... Anyone, I, I think right? that if I were younger and still, you know, stuck in the an old and the earlier 2000s and I was immature and hadn't learned about the world as much as I know today, mm -hmm. I probably would have thought, well, that's weird. Don't do that. That's for girls. And I'm being like totally honest mm -hmm. here. Um, today, I have completely challenged that thought process, you know, maybe in the last 10 sure. years. And I don't think that way. So my first thought was like, well, are these just a really young couple? And maybe this is old, but uh, no, it sounds like they're our age. And mm -hmm. uh, this was posted recently. So just hearing the poster say that she comes from a very conservative family, is that mm -hmm. how you put it? I think there's your explanation there. That it's yeah. probably something to do with her personal socialization and the expectations her family or culture or religion possibly have set for her and what men and women are expected to do and how they behave differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when we read things like this, I think it's a reminder of, I guess sometimes we're sort of ignorant to the fact that there are places where... That are ignorant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're ignorant of, of ignorance. <laughs> some of yeah. the ignorance that still very much exists, right? Mm -hmm. And I guess maybe we've been a little blind to that in some ways because we you know, live in a city where we don't see a lot of like open homophobia or something, for example, right? There's rainbow roads, like on our main roads, What's like that? to to represent LGBTQ plus communities. Uh, yeah, I get yeah. that. I, I, I don't want to pretend like homophobia doesn't exist in Canada. Yeah, sorry. But <laughs> I want there, to be careful to say that There is a big too. difference though between the one of the, a, the capital of Canada mm -hmm. and maybe middle America, for example. Yeah. 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 And I, I guess whenever I read things like this, it just reminds me of like people living in a completely different experience right. than we do, right? Yeah. And it's not like a, an apology. It's not apologizing for them or uh, making excuses for them. It's just sort of recognizing that other people don't have the same sort of progressive social views me white. we might. But just like, I just, it's another one of those things where you just wonder why it bothers anyone. Like, like here, her, here her so husband much, yeah. is just being like, oh, cool. That might look cool on my toenail oh. that like no one is ever going to see. I just want to see what it looks like. And the yeah. fact that like she's getting all super hung up about that. Like, like this guy is basically saying her conservative background, you're saying the same thing. And like, mm -hmm. what sort of baggage are you carrying with you? It's around. not baggage. It's just, I'm sorry, I'm I'm thinking what she would say. She would say, it's not baggage. It's just what I was taught and what's right and wrong. 
That would be her argument. I mean, okay. it's just wrong if men wear dresses and nail polish, men. I can't back it up, but it's just wrong. Like I don't want someone to take this out of context. No, no, no. You but, don't have to play devil's advocate. But that, that's <laughs> what, what we hear. That's what I hear when I hear what, okay, so tell me why. What is the problem? Uh -huh. And the, their answer is just like, well, it's just wrong. It's like on Sister Wives, you know that show with, with Cody, the, the head of the yeah, household, yeah, the, yeah. the guy who has like four wives. Yeah. They once on live television asked him, how would you feel if one of your wives decided to get another husband? And his answer was, well, that would be wrong. It would just be wrong. Yeah. And the reporter's like, tell, <laughs> tell me why yeah. that would be wrong. Well, that's not how it's supposed to work. Uh -huh. And he had no answer beyond that. And that sure. stuck with me so much because I just think that's so powerful in explaining why people you know, have grown up into social norms and their beliefs and they're so fixated on it, they can't even challenge why they, you know, you could flip it on its head. And that was just the perfect example, that sister wife one. So I imagine mm -hmm. this poster might feel the same. Well, it's just wrong. She doesn't have a real answer. Yeah. And I mean, like at the same time, like I'm a guy and I'm like, I have no interest in wearing a dress. It's not something I would personally do. I just, just don't see... Yeah, what is the reason for judging? I someone painted who your wants... toenails. Remember that? <laughs> you did paint my toenails. I remember growing up actually in Florida. We used to go to Florida to visit my grandmother every year. And while mm -hmm. my dad was sleeping, I we would paint his toenails, my sister and I. And he'd wake up and be like, "What's that for?" and like make a joke of it. Yeah. But he wouldn't really care. And then he'd just wear them out. Like we went to the beach and he'd, <laughs> he'd, he didn't care. Like it was funny for us girls to paint his toenails because I guess at such a young age we knew. I guess that's weird and it's funny if you're, if yeah. you're, you know, your dad has painted toenails, mm -hmm. but he didn't care that we did that. And he laughed and then he wore them out sandals on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not saying you have to like celebrate it or like, I think a lot of people who take issue with this and like the Harry Styles and a dress thing are, are, tr are trying to argue that there's like an attack on masculinity in modern society. I saw a tweet like that. Yeah. And like, maybe there are some examples of that where uh, traditionally masculine traits are kind of being uh, discouraged in young boys in school, for example. Like, I'm willing to hear that argument to some degree. What's I'm willing, the argument? Like, what's uh, being discouraged? Uh, young girls typically do way better in school than young boys. And I think some people take the position that that somewhat has to do with the fact that uh, education systems have embraced like a, a feminine style approach to teaching young people, as opposed to embracing the fact that young boys are going to be boisterous and more competitive and uh, like I, I don't know. I'm no. I'm. I'm no, I don't okay. know what I'm talking. You've seen. But you, there's but an people, argument that people exists. make this argument that like you know young kids are told taught not to be like competitive everyone's a winner all these things and mm. i think there's a concern or some people are concerned that that is skewing our education system to a more like sort of feminized approach as opposed as opposed to one that caters more to a more masculine approach is it feminized or is it just more about equality though and the people who are concerned with it being feminized are just a little sensitive Look, I don't know. I don't want to be the guy even advancing this argument because I'm, I'm not really saying it's something with I believe the, yeah. in. <laughs> Neither of us are, apparently. <laughs> but I'm just saying I'm willing to hear someone make an argument about, you know, how like there are traditionally masculine traits and we shouldn't just try to say anything masculine is toxic masculinity because there's definitely kind of a trend towards that as well, right? Like mm -hmm. any traditionally masculine traits are just awful. I've uh, seen lots of men, though, like embrace simple things like nail polish. Like, I just don't understand why it's that big of a deal. There was a huge culture of wearing, like, black nail polish among, like, emo goth bands, yeah, right, yeah. for, like, the last few decades. Is that because it's a rebellious thing for a man to wear nail polish? But then they made it cool by doing so. Yeah, I just, I really just don't think it's that deep, right? Because at the end of the, if your conception... It's paint, y'all. Yeah, it's if, paint. <laughs> but if, if your conception of masculinity boils down to, like, aesthetics like nail polish or dresses. I just think that's such a weak argument. It's very superficial sounding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> superficial. Yeah, that's I mean, that's. Funny. I think that's all I'm going to say about it because I, I, yeah, neither neither of us are experts in uh, gender well, studies. I'll never make a stinky face if you want to paint one toe <laughs> like a speckled egg. In fact, I'll do it for you. 